Hi, Rosa? Yeah, that's me. Okay. Is this your family? Yes. Okay, hi, I'm Detective Gonzalez, our Chief Police Department. Uh, what questions do you have for me right now? Um, what's gonna go on? Like, what, can I be with her? Can... She's getting life lighted out right now. Okay. So they're taking her right now. Okay. I haven't spoke to her at all. Okay, so like what, like what's gonna go on? Like what, they, what's gonna happen with her? Like, So she's gonna get treatment before we even talk to her because she needs to be stabilized. So mm -hmm. she, that's why she didn't like let it out. Okay. Once she gets stabilized, we'll try and talk to her. Um, the baby's gonna go up north for autopsy. Mm -hmm. More likely it will be done with him the next day. Um, is she gonna get detained after, like, she's released? How? Get what? Like, are y'all gonna take her to custody or anything like that? Like, that depends what? on what the DA finds. We have to wait for the autopsy to come back to see what happened. Because okay. right now, with how everything happened, we we're gonna do an investigation, get more information from the OMI, mm -hmm. Office of Medical Investigator up north. Mm -hmm. And with that, we present that to DA, see what the DA wants to do with charges, if any at all. Okay. Okay. So they already took her out. No, she's getting life fighter. She's right now being set up to go to the what, what do you mean? Before the DA makes a decision, or they? It should be pretty soon they make a decision. Because with the age of the decedent, they, they usually expedite autopsy reports and such. With normal people that pass naturally at home, it takes a couple months for us to get reports back. Stuff like this, we'll get it back pretty soon. Okay. So. Still home or still home? We, don't, we don't know. That's why he'll be going up north. Has your all's information been taken yet? Um, he took my driver's license. He took her driver's license. Okay. My phone number, her phone, no, my phone number, yeah. So, even though she's of age, if she's not available to be contacted, can we put you down as next of kin for all my, yeah. okay. And you'd be grandmother? I am mom. So you'd be, the mom. you'd be the decedent's grandmother? Yes. Okay, just wanted to make sure. So she, that's the, her boyfriend. Uh, Mr. Boyfriend, do you have a driver's license? No. And is the address on you current, on the driver's license? Because determining all what all my does, if she's not, if she's still in medical, and they do release the infant back, it'll have to be release somebody. It'll be up to all my who they determine next can is maybe the parents, mm -hmm. but maybe you. Okay, so that's where we're gonna that's get everyone's right. information. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna run your name through the special on radio. Okay, so I'm just gonna call. Him. It's been 715. Are you on APD? For the AG's call, can you run 1 OLN out of New Mexico? It's 517-158-500. Should be Devin Fierro. No, is it Rick? Okay, so I'm coming out of Carlsbad, so like 45 minutes. Yep. 
Thank you, sir. Appreciate it. You as well. Thank you. As soon as we're done with her, like if everything's okay, will I be able to bring her home with me? Yes. I will? Yes. Okay. Is, I don't know where she'll be going. With me? No. My house. I mean, like... When she gets like oh, okay. I don't know which one. They told me Lovelace. Lovelace Regional. Yeah. Lovelace Regional? Yes. Yeah. That's okay. my card. Okay. Get a hold, keep a hold of me. Okay. So if she stays at Lovelace and then she gets released, she can go back to y'all. Okay. okay. And we'll, I'll be in touch with you to try and set up an interview with her. Okay. Would y'all mind talking to me later when y'all are okay? Yeah, I, I was with her. I know she talked to him for a while on the phone. And then she came to me, so I've been with her the rest of the time. Today? Mm -hmm. oh, so what did she come here for that she told you? She had, she told me she had back pain. That's it? That's it. Okay. Has she been having back pain before? Yeah, she's pain for her and her hips is is not. I mean, she was born with like her. I don't know. It was like crooked. Her spine. Okay, cause my ex husband he hit me. He beat me whenever I was pregnant with her. So she was early. So um, she had some problems with her hips. Like I always had to take her to the chiropractor to get adjusted because she couldn't use like. She was always getting constipated, like she had to get lined up, whatever. So, I mean, I've been taking her to chiropractor because I always thought, you know, well, this time, you know, I didn't know. I honestly didn't know she was pregnant. I didn't know. I just thought, like she said, I have back pain while my hips are hurting me. I think I need to go to the chiropractor. I said, okay, let's go tomorrow. But she was like in really a lot of pain and, you know. When did it start? Like the pain? Yes. Uh, today she's, or last, yesterday she said it was really bad, that her hips were hurting, and her back, and last night, we're on the phone together, and she said her, her hips were hurting bad, and I said, ask her if anything else is hurting, and she said just everything, and she went to sleep. But she's a cheerleader too, so, she's big in cheer, they have cheer competition, she, she works out, I mean. And she's been active this whole yeah, time? Yeah, she's been active this whole time. And who does she live with? She, so she's parents. With, oh, that's, oh. Yeah, she's in school. She's a senior. So. And how long have you all been together? Uh, almost two years. Two years? Okay. So I'm um, not trying to be rude to you, but you are more than likely will, will be the father? Okay. Yes. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> We get Sometimes it. it um, so with everything that comes with that, uh, gets a little shaky when it's newborn stuff like that. But with like death certificates stuff like that, interpreting his sons, if you choose to use them, we'll be the ones to help you get those. Um, other than that, because that's all really you'd need, and they can help you with the afterlife care. Okay. Um, do y'all have any questions for me right now? No. Okay. Do you have my number? You can, that is my work phone if you want to text me. Okay. Or call me. I have my email on there as well, okay? Um, Sergeant and I got your information right? Yes. Okay. Let me give you my card too so you can give me a call, all right? Just because I want to make sure everyone stays updated, okay? Like I said, I don't know. There will be charges that will be up to the district attorney's office, if any, are even done. Okay. Okay. It's too early in the game to know right now. Okay. So we're just gonna do the initial investigation. With I was on the phone with our dispatch, so all my will be here in 45 minutes. It's one of their field agents, okay. and they're the ones. So in the state of Mexico, we're not allowed to touch anybody that's passed. Okay. They're called a decedent. They're the only ones allowed to actually handle somebody. So we wait for them to even do anything. So hospitals allowed to do it because they do care, you know, life-saving efforts. Whenever life-saving efforts cease, no one's allowed to touch them. So we have to wait for them to show up okay. before we even start that side of stuff, okay? Okay. So she's getting life-lighted out. We'll talk to her later. Okay. 
Okay. You, that's if she even wants to talk to us. She chooses to because she still has her constitutional rights. Should I like get a lawyer for her? Should I? You I can. Know? That's your choice. I can't tell you what to do. <laughs> that's something that y'all as a family have to talk about. Okay. Well, we would come to her over the Russell. Yes. Well, that's right here. They would let her. Um. Yeah, they she's, let us. Yeah. She should be gone by now. Okay. So that's with the helicopters coming in. They want nobody near it, so that way you can't yeah. mess with anything. Because if any of their vitals go off, they'll stop it. Yeah. Which could be an issue for if they actually, if they need care immediately. So that's why whenever someone gets life flighted, they just cut off every like contact with the family. Okay. Because they're making sure she's getting set up to get transported out. Okay. So that's why they tell you. Leave. Yeah. It okay. seems very harsh, but it's because with their with the flight nurse, the flight doctor, they have to make sure everything stays constant. Okay. So, she should be gone by now because she was already getting prepped whenever I, I came out to y'all. Okay. So with that, like I said, she'll be leaving. We'll stay here with the Destiny and go from there. Okay. Okay. So once she gets to Loveless, it's up to Loveless if they'll let you back there. Okay. All right, because she is of age, so. Mm -hmm. Um with COVID and how everything goes, it just depends, okay? okay? So if, before you make the journey, I'll call, see if that's available. Okay. And just let them know what's going on and we'll just that your family and that it's possible. Okay. All right? Okay. We'll be here if you need anything. Yeah, well, I'll be over there and okay. I'll just be waiting, all right? Okay. Thank you so much. All right, folks.